On a cold Friday in Burns, we find no obvious signs of the Coyote Classic. Nothing in the weekly paper, no storefront signage, no posters as in previous years. This Facebook site is quiet too. My membership request still pending. Nobody knows for sure how many coyotes live in Oregon. The Department of Fish and Wildlife won't give us an estimate, but 300,000 is a commonly quoted figure. State law defines them as predators. They have virtually no legal protections. The hunting season is year-round, no tags required, no limit. Organized hunts or derbies have become a flashpoint. It's unethical to just kill them for, for sport and for blood. Most of us are one month away from calving, and we welcome it. They're really similar, more similar to a blood sport like dogfighting or cockfighting, which have been outlawed in every state. You can't legislate in Salem what we do over here. Although we find no sign of a hunt here, there is one. At a store outside of town, owner Scott Davies explains the low profile. There's been such a backlash with coyotes and coyote hunting and predator control that they don't advertise them as much as they used to. It's kind of a, if you know, you know, kind of a deal. You can shoot up to 10, whatever you want to shoot, but it's the five that you want to turn in. And that's what gets you your total weight. Right, the average weight. At the Pine Room in Burns, Merle Reed, a former contest organizer, explains the basics and the economic benefits he sees. The Classic is an opportunity for um, hunting enthusiasts to come over and um, participate. You have people from all over the state? Yes, all over the state and in from, actually people from other states, from Nevada, Idaho, and, and, and Washington come and participate in it. Merle owns the restaurant and a nearby market. He is openly wary of media spin on the subject and is also fed up with the judgments of outsiders. To listen to your messages, press one. He plays a voicemail he says he has kept for six years. I'm calling all the way from Massachusetts. This is just wrong. I, I, I don't understand why people need to, to kill just and giggles. And what can that woman in Massachusetts, he wonders, really know about life in this wide open corner of Oregon? Are we being cruel to the animal or are we, are we doing what needs to be done for the ranching? Eight other states have banned coyote hunts. The Washington, D.C. based Humane Society of the United States shared what they describe as undercover video of a different Harney County hunt back in 2018. We've blurred out the dozens of carcasses. The HSUS was the lead signatory on the petition presented to the Fish and Wildlife Commission. A spokesperson tells us the claim that killing lots of coyotes protects livestock is just a myth perpetuated by organizers and participants. When you mass kill coyotes, it can actually increase their populations due to it disrupts their pack structure and causes them to increase reproduction. So we have more coyotes. It's very sad. Uh, to me, it's, um, it's, it's a darker side of human nature that we need to really explore and confront. Longtime hunter Adam Bronstein with the Western Watershed Project testified in support of the petition, calling the hunts brutal and inhumane. They give true hunters, he tells me, a bad name. It's time for an awakening and for a, uh, a new way of, of living and, and being humans on this planet that we share with all of our living ancestors, including the coyote. Friday is check-in day for the contest, and we are not welcome. This is headquarters for the Coyote Classic for the weekend, the Harney County Fairgrounds, but I've spoken with the organizer, and he tells me this is a private event. He doesn't want us anywhere near the buildings he's rented. So we leave town and drive 30 miles southeast to the T.I. Ranch. A rancher's profit margin is so slim as it is that you can't afford any kind of loss. Rusty Inglis is the Farm Bureau president for the county. You're never going to wipe coyotes out. And ranchers, that's not their intention. Their intention is to reduce the number so they are not preying on our livestock, our livelihood. He has been running cattle here for decades and says in recent years, predator control efforts at the federal, state, and county levels have lessened. So when we have something like a coyote contest, I'm gonna say, hey, I need it. You won't let me do it the other way. 
it's just me and, and, and those type of things. And they're not unethical in my opinion. If I shoot a coyote or they shoot a coyote, what's the difference? No. Okay, we'll take a spin. Definitely, I never go out here without a farmer. They're a canine and they're real smart. And they're gonna figure out, okay, this is where we cab, this is where the babies will be. He demonstrates a common call device many hunters use to draw coyotes into the open. And out here, there's a lot of jackrabbits. So we say, okay, we're gonna use a jackrabbit distress call. Okay. And we would turn it on. And then we would set, and we usually set for at least a half hour. He's killed five this winter on ranch property, he says, and make no mistake, anything that is a threat to crops or livestock in this country will be a target. You know, I don't participate in the coyote contest, but like I'll say it again, I think it's a great deal. It helps us a lot. Salem is about 250 miles that way, and a lot of folks in this area feel every inch of that separation. And they see the latest push to outlaw events like the Coyote Classic as just the latest battle in Oregon's long-running east-west urban-rural culture war. What we're all really afraid of is this is just a initial attempt to take more control. County Commissioner Kristen Shellman points to three hunt banning bills that have failed in Salem. If within that legislative process it could not get accomplished, what job is it of it, of unelected officials taking that charge to themselves. Her family manages this cattle grazing cooperative. Killing coyotes is just what you do. As we fed this morning, out here we had five coyotes run across this back field. Well, and we already called up one of the contestants to come take care of those tonight. <laughs> Contest opponents say they are targeting just the organized hunts, not all culling of coyotes. And they hope a new draft rule from Fish and Wildlife will do the job of their rejected petition. They're cruel, they're unsporting, they're ecologically destructive. As ranchers, hunters, and hunt haters wait and watch, ODFW tells us there is no timeline for a final decision from staff ordered to look for a way to ban the contests. In Burns, I'm Alan Schaffler, Central Oregon Daily News.